Microfilaments are a protein fiber that makes up a cell cytoskeleton. They're also called actin filaments because they're composed of actin molecules arranged into a strong helical shape. Microfilaments are important for many functions, including cell movement, changes in cell shape, cell contractility, and mechanical stability. There are three protein fibers you should be familiar with for the MCAT. Microfilaments, intermediate filaments, and microtubules. It can be confusing to remember which filament does what. So in this video, I'll give you my visual mnemonic to help you remember everything you need to know about microfilaments so you'll be ready for test day. Take two, action. Cut, cut, cut. Come on guys, we're filming here. For this scene, we find ourselves on a film set. It's the world famous actor, Dom Bruce, and I think he's filming a new action movie for the Operation Impossible series. You know, those scenes where the main protagonist shows how he stays in shape? Or maybe those other scenes where the agency is figuring out how fit the special agent is? Anyways, what's important to note here is that our movie director here doesn't use just any film. No, no, no. He uses microfilm. Just take a look at that film reel there. Microfilm is way smaller and more portable than normal film, which makes it great for these moving action sets. Now let's pivot back to the start of our film. Yep. It's Dom Bruce. This actor's got quite some talent. Anyways, our actor here is going to help us remember that microfilaments are composed of actin. Actor for actin, get it? Microfilaments are also called actin filaments, and they're formed when chains of actin molecules link together to form a helical structure. The resulting filament is very strong, making it a great building block for the cytoskeleton. So our actor is training on a treadmill, since these scenes always show the guy on a treadmill. Coincidentally, the treadmill here should help us remember that microfilaments are dynamic. This means that they're able to rapidly grow and shrink by adding or taking away actin molecules from the ends of the filament. One property of dynamic filaments is a unique phenomenon known as treadmilling. When actin molecules are dynamically added on one side, and taken away from the other, the overall length of the filament does not change, but the filament itself changes, which kind of resembles movement on a treadmill. And what do you know? We've chosen to represent dynamism with a treadmill to help you peg this fact. Since microfilaments are part of the cytoskeleton that gives cells their shape, this dynamism gives cells the ability to change their shape and even move around. We'll touch more on this in the next few symbols. Next, Notice Dom Bruce's quick feet. He's running so fast his legs are like a blur. His movements help me remember one of the key roles of microfilaments, movement. That's right, microfilaments are responsible for the gross movement of cells, since rearrangement of microfilaments we just talked about can help the cell move in a crawling-like motion. Other key ways microfilaments move a cell include cytokinesis, a process by which microfilaments pinch off cell membranes and move daughter cells apart to complete cell division. Note that movement enabled by microfilaments is distinct and separate from the swim-like movement created by flagella and cilia, which use microtubules and not microfilaments. You can check out our other scene on microtubules to learn more about this, but for now, just remember gross cell movements can be achieved by rearranging actin filaments. All right. To be a top action movie actor, you've got to have some muscle, and our friend Dom Bruce has no shortage of muscle. Just look at that rippling chest. Our actor's excellent physique should help you remember that microfilaments play a key role in muscle contraction. Actin filaments and motor proteins called myosin are important for the contraction of muscle cells, and they come together to form the functional unit of muscle contraction, the sarcomere. We'll touch on muscle contraction and sarcomeres in another video, but for now, you should just know that muscle contraction exerts strong forces on cells. The sturdiness of actin filaments provides a framework for muscle cells to contract and generate force. You bet that those big muscles in our actor are packed with lots of actin. Remember, muscle contraction uses microfilaments. Nothing brings out rippling muscles like a pair of tights. Yep. In these scenes, actors are always wearing skin-tight clothes, and this pair of tights really accentuates Dom Bruce's physique, and I'm sure those tights will increase our actor's female fan base. By the way, these tights kind of remind me that microfilaments are the basis of tight junctions. 
Tight junctions are strong intercellular connections that form watertight barriers between cells. To form these tight junctions, the microfilaments of adjacent cells are linked together. This links their cytoskeleton together. You bet that we've got another video on the topic of tight junctions. You should check it out sometime. But for now, just remember that microfilaments are the cytoskeletal filaments that make up tight junctions. And that's it for this scene. Now to recap. Microfilaments are a component of the cytoskeleton. They're long filaments made up of actin, which is why they're also called actin filaments. Microfilaments are dynamic, and rapid addition and removal of actin molecules can both rearrange the cytoskeleton and enable treadmilling. The dynamic rearrangement of the actin filaments is necessary for gross cellular movements. Other key roles include functions in muscle contraction as a unit of the sarcomere, and serving as a cytoskeletal component of tight junctions. All right, now we're actually done with microfilaments. You did it. Let's go and catch Don Bruce's next film. Or maybe we'll just watch more Pixarize videos. Until next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also support our team by visiting pixarize.com, where you'll find exclusive videos and interactive review images. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.